Well, what happened to the first the, the first two games of the season? That's fantasy. I mean, how we whipped that ass. I mean, uh, against Carolina and heavy and, dose and the of reality in this one. No, this is more the NFL. Right. I mean, if you'd have told me before the game, we're going to be plus one in the turnover margin. And look, Derek threw that interception right at the end, but you're trying to push the ball. So we still uh, plus four for the season. But if you'd have told me it have been plus one. And a block and, 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 and uh, No, I'm not, but, okay, I'm not even talking about that. Okay, just look at the, the turnover margin. Okay, yeah, we, th- we always win on special teams. You know, uh, th- that's one thing. We're going to win in special teams against Atlanta, against Tampa Bay, against the Chiefs. Whoever we play, we're going to win on special teams. But if you'd have told me it would have been plus one in the turnover margin and I was scoring, we had only held them to 15 points, right. hell yeah, we're going to win. I said, uh, there's no way we're not going to win. Now, it, it is reality. Even though you think it's modern-day NFL, you have some old-school scores uh, that come about. You can look at a number of areas, glass half full, ha- half empty. Well, it definitely the glass is half empty. This was back to what happened last year. Okay, what do you do? Can you stop the run or can we run the football? If you look rushing, they average seven yards a carry, 6.9. That's seven yards. We average 3.1. We had 29 rushing attempts. They had 25. I don't know. How in the hell the Giants got rid of Saquon Barkley? Are they stupid? I mean, Saquon Barkley averaged eight and a half, 8.6 yards a carry, a couple of touchdowns. That dude's fast now. Uh, you know, you got to make the catch against Atlanta, and then they win that game. And, you know, it just shows you that cliche, the fine, thin line, whether uh, you win or lose. So you look at a number of areas, uh, the glass is half full, uh, half empty. You know why the glass is still half full? If you could tell me, and we go on Atlanta, I can tell you, what game is more important, beating the Eagles or beating Atlanta in your division? That divisional foe, man. Right. Uh, and then we're going to play Tampa Bay the first six games. I'm telling you now, you want to win them all, and, uh, you know, you can have a tiebreaker, and they would have it. The Eagles would have it against the Saints. It's the NFC. But when you look at it within the division, the game against at Atlanta uh, next, next Sunday is, is more important. It just is. No, I'm not trying to show co- co- what occurred, but if you look at it, um, uh, who, the Eagles deserve to win. They were shooting themselves in the foot. I mean, I'm looking at like total, total first downs. Basically, we've been like 2-1. to one. They were 2-1. 20 first downs that we had 12. Um, third down, uh, that was more uh, realistic. What do you think? Uh, you know, we, we were like unbelievable uh, the first two games on third down. We ended up being 46%, 6 of 13, which I think is, um, you know, if you're 48.5%, I think that then you're amongst uh, the best uh, offenses. Defense, not so much. Instead of giving up 43%, I wish that number was more like 33%. But like Dennis Allen said, you know uh, where we got gash, chunk plays. Because in the red zone, Bama don't break. Th- th- this is awesome. They were one of three in the red zone, 33%. That- that's outstanding. Now, we were one of three in the red zone, and we've been unbelievable in the red zone. So not so good. So that's a push. We are one of three. They're one of three in the red zone. But it was a matter of the chunk plays. Um, and at the end, what the hell, we're running into each other? I don't know if it was bad luck. Uh, I, I would have bet, and that's why I don't bet, I guess, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 like uh, your house or whatever. I got scared money, so I'm not betting uh, either. No, I was thinking at the end, no, uh, we in a position, uh, we're going to win this type of game because you know why? I trust our defense. But then again, uh, not so fast. Um, you know, Derek Carr only had 130 yards passing. Uh, I think he'd have more than that if we're able to run the ball more and utilize and play action. But uh, those days with Kubiak and all, we're not throwing for 300 yards. It's going to be more around 200, 225, I think, if we're getting it done and we still can run the football. Uh, I've said this. I think this is outstanding. If we can continue to do this, how we're utilizing Alvin Kamara. If you look, he had like uh, 29 uh, touches. In the passing game, three targets, uh, and he caught three balls for 40 yards, had 127 total yards. Steve, that, 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 that's winning football with Alvin Kamara. So I'm going to take that against Atlanta. I think that's productive. We can go in that direction. Uh, now, it might have had a cru- crucial penalties at that time, but penalties really didn't come into play. I like the way the officials called the game. They only called 10 total penalties, seven against the Eagles, three against the Saints. So uh, th- that was something that was – you know, definitely encouraging. Uh, I, I was impressed with, uh, you know, uh, Jalen Hurts. And then you let Jalen Hurts um, 
pass the football like he did, considering uh, who A.J. Uh, Brown didn't play. A.J. Brown's a beast. Right. When he plays, the Eagles like always win. When they don't play, they don't win. And then you look at Devontae Smith. Uh, all of a sudden, he's knocked out. And then, you know, at times, uh, the tight end exploits us. Oh, did he exploit us? Again, career day for Goddard. Now, yeah, he, uh, uh, it was probably his best in his career. Yes. 11 targets. And Coach Allen said we knew that they were going to do that, especially even at the end. 11 targets, 10 catches, 170 yards, 17-yard average. Ouch. He had that long gain of 61. Devontae Smith, because uh, A.J. Brown's out there, they target him 10 times. He had seven catches for 79 yards. Uh, I think this is his best game. And when you look at targets, uh, six targets, six catches, Chris Olave, uh, 86 yards, uh, 14 half yard average. He had that uh, touchdown. Like I said, Kamara ended up having three targets, three catches for 40 yards. Uh, now, Derek Carr, you know, unbelievable QB rating. Uh, well, not so much today. I think the Eagles had a lot to do with that. He was 14 of 25, 142 yards, quarterback rating of 69. He got sacked one time. And then you look, uh, Jalen Hurts, 29 of 38. Uh, realistically, uh, when you think about that, um, usually you don't win when you throw in like 38 times. But, you know, they almost had to be in that situation. And you look, it hurts also. I thought we, overall we could team. He had that one long gain of 21 yards. Right. But he only averaged 3.1 yards a carry. I think sometimes we're so worried about him rushing <laughs> that we didn't really get a pass rush. No, he had a lot of time you back know, there sometimes. Th- yeah, that sugar rush and all that. So, um uh, that, that they got to give uh, Jalen Hurts a lot of credit uh, for what he was able to do. Now, looking at um, uh, defensively, where, where I thought uh, the game uh, really was lost, and and you might say, uh, well, Bobby, what uh, you know, next man up? Mm, I'm telling you, we lost our best offensive lineman. That was a big, big one, right? When we lost McCoy, and, and the thing is with that, you want to have. You know, uh, the best lineman out there, and, and you have to have luck. What do I mean by that with injuries? And, you know, look, uh, the Eagles had injuries, so, so uh, that's just football. But I thought their defensive in- interior line, they dominated. I'm looking at Jalen Carter. Like Mike Detail was telling when he comes to play, he comes to play. He's very disruptive. He ended up having a quarterback hurry, two tackles for a loss, two passes defended, uh, UGA another, uh, Davis. He had a sack, a quarterback hurry, a tackle fall loss. I just thought they had the better of us uh, on the interior, uh, you know, when McCoy went out. Uh, but, again, that that's why, you know, you play the game and you got to say next man up and there's no excuses. And the one thing that when the game unfolded and, and the way uh, the game was is that, okay, beginning in the fourth quarter, it's like 14 minutes, 55 seconds left. It's fourth and one. Kamara gets a half a yard. So the Eagles all fired up. Okay. Definitely missed Taysom Hill this year. Again, game. again. Yeah. Okay, two people. I'm glad you brought that up. Taysom Hill, because of the power, and Otto went for the field goal then. I'm not second guessing. It's not in hindsight because McCoy was out. Right. If McCoy's playing, then, okay, I could see you going for it. But I think you got to take the points then. Uh, the way the ebb and flow of the game, I, I think you had to take the points then and to take the field goal. Uh, now, then, you know, uh, right after that, all of a sudden, uh, you know, Barkley goes for that 65-yard uh, touchdown run, and then uh, we're now losing 7-3. Uh, to three. And, we, you know, it would have been um, maybe, I don't know, different. It would have been 7-6, to six, you know, what would have came about. But, um, you know, you, you could second-guess a, a number of plays, but I, I think the one thing defensively, any time, you only give up 15 points, you should win. But like the, you can't give up those chunk plays. Whether it's chunk runs or, or, or passes, uh, whatever occurs, you cannot do that. Now, I don't know if I've ever witnessed this, especially from a cornerback. Uh, uh, and a lot of times he was on uh, Devontae Smith. It wasn't just Lattimore. Uh, Paul Sinodibo, he had 10 tackles, and they were all unassisted. Not a linebacker. Right. Uh, you know, he had 10 unassisted tackles, a tackle for loss, pass defended. Honey Badger, I think overall, uh, uh, I think he has a lot left in the tank. He had seven uh, unassisted tackles total, a tackle for loss. He had that big interception in the red zone. He had a pass defend. He also missed a couple of tackles. 
you know, uh, the big games. The one guy that's consistently playing the best in the to me is Carl Grandison. Carl Grandison is the one that's being disruptive. He had five total tackles, a sack and a half, two quarterback hurries, uh, two tackles for a loss. He forced a fumble. Right. Uh, and then the one who's getting better, the youngster, Brian Brzee. Brian Brzee, he ended that up with uh, two sacks and two quarterback hurries and two tackles for a loss. No, it's a shame that you lose this kind of game. But I'm telling you, it'd be more a shame if we lose to the Falcons. We need them to be the Falcons. You know, hopefully, because of the division game. We'll get to scout them again tonight. They're on Sunday Night Football. Yeah, we get to watch, see what's going to happen. And, and look at Atlanta. Everyone thought uh, if Saquon catches the ball in the flat, then the, uh, the Falcons don't have a chance to, uh, uh, to catch, uh, you know, for Kirk Cousins to drive him down the field right. and uh, to win that game. But now we can look ahead as fans do. Uh, okay, I'm telling you right now, we got three, the next three games. Um, okay, we play in the Falcons. We play in the Chiefs on Monday night, and then we play in uh, uh, the, the Tampa Bay. Right. I don't even care if we don't beat the Chiefs. I'm telling you, we got to beat Atlanta, and then we got to beat Tampa Bay. Amen to and that. then you 3-0 and in the NFC South. Exactly. And then you keep things in perspective. Now, obviously, when you have a game like this, it's an NFC game. This game's more important than when we play the Chiefs because you never know about tie breaks, all right, because the sure, Chiefs NFC. are in the AFC and, yeah. then we, and we're in the NFC. But um, – yeah, I, I, I tell you what, if you look at it, um, and we should have a bigger lead, and, and that's not necessarily the case. When we played in NOLA, counting playoffs and all, uh, we're now 11 wins and 9 losses. So that's basically 500. Now, we 3-1 and in the postseason, uh, but... Uh, You're saying, is this under Dennis Allen? No, this no, th- this is history, Steve. There's huh? too many games. Look, uh, 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 th- oh, versus the Eagles. Yeah, there's 20 okay, games. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm... There's 20 games we've played in New Orleans okay. against the Eagles franchise, and we 11 and I- 9. I'm caught up now. <laughs> I-, I-, I would like that, you know, whenever you're at home, you want to be that more to be like 80%. Sure. Uh, you know, you want that to be like, uh, I don't know, 16 and 4 instead of 11 and 9. But... Uh, I, I tell you what, I, I was impressed with. Um, the, you got to give the opposition credit, uh, Saquon Barkley. He not only um, like runs tough, but he's fast. You ain't catching him when he when he took off. And oh, I said, man, we ain't we ain't catching him. Dropped the hammer and was gone, like you, you said. Know, but uh, that was so frustrating. I was like, what the hell? Did they run a pick play at the end or something? Frustrating, too. Rashid Shaheed got shut out this game. Okay, Rashid Shaheed, again, uh, what, did I, what did I've always say, said? Uh, like, a great receiver. And can you – he had a couple of times to make contested catches. Couldn't come down. High point the ball, come down with the ball, and then you come down and you make those great plays, uh, then you make a lot of money. You can, I mean, a lot, a lot of money. Because, whoa, look at that catch. Oh, look at that. Did you see that catch? And then about a couple of times where there's been going on our behalf with uh, Rashid Shahid's been unbelievable. Since Rashid Shahid came in, in the league, the only player who's had more chunk plays than him is, is Tyreek Hill. Right. I, I'm going to say off the top of my head, Charlie, something like 13-9. Uh, to nine. Well, when I'm talking about like 40-plus uh, like yards or something, like a real chunk play. But, yeah, so not, not the best game. For Rashid Shahid to show his grandkids, because he he was targeted five times. You know how many catches he had? Uh, zero. And he, he could have had two significant chunk plays that then happened. Uh, you know, with contested catches. But uh, you got to give the Eagles credit because this is an ugly game. They won an ugly game, but they all count the same. You know, how we kicked the cowgirls' ass and we kicked the the Panthers behind. They all count the same. <laughs> you know, if we don't won this game and it said, boy, look, look at the numbers. The Eagles really put it to us, but the Saints won. Right. The W is the only thing that matters, right? Yes. It, it doesn't I always say this kind of jokingly. It's not a soccer game or, um, you know, if the Saints won, win three to two, I don't care. Or we kicked the field goal and, and they got a safety. What would he do? Uh, you could, like, like we crushed Dallas. Uh, yeah, you can have that score like you went three to two. They all count the same. So that's why we need to rebound, how you handle adversity going forward, and you got to win on the road in Atlanta. Now, realistically, I think where Atlanta's at and where we're at, i love us to sweep Atlanta. But one thing that has to happen, you have to at least split. 
So why not have a little land yard and win at Atlanta? Because the Saints have played good on the road at Atlanta. Right. But who that nation represents in the ATL? Our home so, away from home. Yep. So, so, so get a win, uh, and, and then you're feeling good about yourself again. There's nothing wrong with being humble. You know, you get humbled, how you handle adversity. you got to be a pro. And you can't pout and uh, say, what well, was me and all that. And you just have to go forward because what happened the first two games is really not realistic on the NFL level. That, that's more like top colleges uh, playing like a homecoming game where uh, it's like rent a win. You know, you pay a bunch of money, you give it, uh, somebody, and now when you lose that game, but how embarrassing. You give somebody $750,000 and then, you know, you win by three or four touchdowns, uh, you know, just to help them out, then you get a win. Well, you really don't have that in the NFL. And uh, the bottom line is uh, I'm still highly encouraged. And uh, why I'm also feeling pretty good, because the Ravens are whipping that cowgirl's ass. <laughs> but we're going to bounce back. I- I'm still optimistic. And, well, we got the Bucks loss at least. Yeah, Denver uh, won there, and uh, then hopefully tonight okay. Kansas City takes care of the Falcons. Yeah, who? Yes, uh, go Chiefs, go exactly. Uh, do the tomahawk chop tonight, <laughs> and go, go Chiefs, go. Uh, we'll whip the Falcons. Who would have thought? Realistically, show how the NFL. Who would have thought Sean Payton and the Broncos going to go to Tampa Bay? Uh, they won handily. I don't know how the game turned out, but look at the score. What was the score in that game, Steve? Final twenty six to seven in Tampa Bay for Denver. What <laughs> uh, uh, well, is the Denver Broncos the Chiefs? Uh, or, or what? Uh, we thought that Denver, they are still rebuilding. So you never know in the NFL it is that good. And it's just a shame uh, because we had opportunities and we didn't take advantage of the opportunities to win this kind of game. Because, again, I say this. Turnover margin and scoring defense. Now, we didn't do the scoring offense part uh, right to get in the 20s. But w- wouldn't you take right now going forward? I don't care if we're playing Atlanta. If we play in the Chiefs, if we play in Tampa Bay, anybody in our schedule. Shame on us if we hold somebody to 15 points and and, and we don't win. You know, we came into the game, uh, we were only giving up 14 and a half points a game. Uh, That was top, that was fourth best in the league. So we continue to do that. No, you you have to win. Just the percentage could be in your favor to win. And then you're on the plus side, the turnover margin. No, I'm not panicking. It's just a frustrating (laughs) loss.